guys, welcome to Craft with Jared. I'm Jared, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little bunny from a square that we made in one of my previous tutorials. So if you'd like to learn how to make this bunny, please stick around, give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe, and if you know anybody who would like to knit, crochet, or be interested in this little teddy bear, please share this video with them. So the things we're going to need for this video is going to be a darning needle to sew in, scissors to cut off the ends, a square that we have made so if you want you can follow any of the four five recent videos that i've created to create a square and you can use any one of those squares because they will be suitable for this little bunny pattern i'm using a single moss stitch and if you learn how if you want to learn how to make this single moss stitch please follow my channel and watch the video so this is the stitch i'm using in this nice baby blue top wool and then you're also going to need thread, well, other wool, different colour wool if you want, or the same colour wool of your square. I'm using this black wool because I want you to see the contrast in colour so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. And then the last thing you're going to need is going to be your stuffing. I'm using pillow, stu pillow stuffing and this is used to put into the bunny. So the first thing we want to do is measure how much wool we are going to need. So fold your square in half and then get something to mark it. So I'm going to use my darning needle. I'm going to just insert it into the square there and then unfold your square. So now we know that the hair is half of our square. Then we're going to get our thread. So I've already cut a piece of thread and this is 20 inches long. And how I measured it was I went from the center of the square, then I'm gonna hold there, make a triangle. So I'm gonna go there, then hold it over there, and I'm gonna go back to where we started, and it be making a triangle. A very like makeshift triangle, but we're making a triangle, and then just cut off an extra bit just in case. So this is that's how I got my size of the wool I needed. So the next thing we're going to do is, so we know this is half of the square, take your darning needle, thread it, so we just want to thread it like that and just twist it so it doesn't come undone. Then we are going to go in half of the square. So boys, if you want to just make sure you are going in half because we want it to get as straight as possible or as we can do it. So there's half of my square, right? I'm going to take my darning needle and I'm going to go in from the bottom and I'm gonna just go into loop. So it doesn't need to be perfectly straight. You're just weaving in and out, in and out, like top and bottom, top and bottom. So you can see how my darning needle is, is getting the loops. So it doesn't matter what loops you get, you just need to go like in and out, in and out. So I went from the bottom to the top, bottom to the top, bottom to the top. And I'm gonna pull. Done. So if it comes undone, just re-thread it. Okay. Then I'm going to continue doing this up until I get to the end. So top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. And you just carry on. So this, we are going to make the head of the bunny. So if you want the head of the bunny to be smaller, you're going to just move a bit further up. So it depends how big you want the head of your bunny to be. So I'm going to just keep going top, bottom, top, bottom. And then I've gotten to the end. So we're going to pull the thread through, all the way through, and you're going to leave about this much at the end. 
now we are going to go so if you see how my thread is it's gone through the loops now we want to go up so we want to make a triangle so if you want to mark it you can do that but you make a triangle and then you can mark the center point so we know that this is where we want to be so I can just put something there so I can see so we want to go from the bottom there and we want to go to the top there so I'm going to get my darning needle and then I'm going to also continue going up and down busy grabbing loops up and down up and down keep doing that until you get to the end so it's almost like we're busy weaving in but we want to grab as many loops as we can and we're going to just continue going up and down until we get to the point we want to get so we're literally making a triangle and we're just going to continue until we get to the end One more and then we pull our work through So you can see there's my triangle if i show the other side there's my triangle so it's busy making a triangle now next we want to go from the top here back to where we started so i'm going to just thread my wool up and down up and down until we get to where we started Now we've gotten to where we started. So you can see we've got the two loose strands and you can see the triangle we've made. This is the head. So what you want to do is you're going to get your stuffing. So I've got a bit of stuffing over here. Got my stuffing. So depending on how stuffed you want your bunny, that will be the amount of stuffing you want. So I always start off with a little bit of stuffing for the head and then later on I'll add more. So you want to hold your stuffing in the middle, like that. Then you're going to take these two strands and you're going to pull. You're going to just pull the strands. So you can see now how it's busy forming the head. So there's our stuffing. You can put your finger there and you just pull. Keep pulling. You could do one at a time if you want. And we're going to keep pulling and then we're going to start. So if you see it's already forming the ears and the head. So we're going to put the stuffing in. We're going to go from one side, so you can see how I'm holding the stuffing down and you're going to just pull tight because you want it to be as tight as possible. And keep putting that stuffing in. There we go. So it's almost done. So we want it to almost be closed off on the top. Can you see how much little it's busy showing and keep putting it in and keep pulling this. Okay. There we go. So if you want your head, so this is, I like this head shape. I like how stuffed it is. And I like my ears. They look good to me. So now what we want to do is we've pulled this. Now we just want to tie it a little bit, not too much because we don't want to see it, but we want to secure it in place. So what you can do, so two ways you can do this. I think we're going to take our darning needle and we're going to thread these into our work. So if you have the right side, we're going to just thread it through to the wrong side. So we aren't going to see this side. So now we have, we've threaded the threads to the wrong side. So we're going to just give it a little bit of a tie so we don't lose the tension in the head. So we're going to just tie it up. And just pull and tie and we're going to double knot it so there's one knot and there's two knots so here's our bunny head and you can see where our body is going to be it isn't stuffed yet okay 
Then the next thing we want to do is we want to start sewing up the end here. So what you can do, you can either cut yourself new thread or you can use the existing thread you have. So I'm going to use this existing thread I have. But I'll show you, if you do cut yourself new thread, I'll show you how we're going to weave in these ends so we don't see them. Okay. Then what we want to do, we're going to just move the ears back a bit. And you see how these two folds will fold together. We want to fold them together. And we want to go all the way to the neck, if possible. So there's the neck. You know that little hole where we stuffed everything in? We want to start sewing from there. So just move any strands out the way and we're going to grab two, we're going to grab a loop from this one, we're going to grab a loop from this one and we're going to grab a loop from the other one. We're going to pull through both loops and we're going to go around. So we're going to take, so now the thread is there, we're going to go around and we're going to grab it and we're going to do the same thing, grab a loop from both sides go around, grab loop from both sides, go around, and that's all we're going to do until we get to the bottom. The reason I'm using this color wool is because I want you to see what I'm busy doing. Because if you use the same color wool, so if you see with this bunny, you can't see it. But if you see with this bunny, you can see it. So that's why I'm using the black wool so you guys can see. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this black thread out so you can see how sewn the body. I've gone around like this. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to use the same color wool so we don't see it. So I've just changed to the blue and I've just gone to the bottom there so we can see we've got a little opening over here and we've got there and we've gotten to the bottom so now what we want to do is we want to continue going and sewing it up until we've got this little gap so we're gonna just turn and we're gonna keep going with the sewing until we've left a little gap. So we don't want a huge gap because then when we stuff it, the stuffing is going to come out. We just want to leave a small little space. So you can see the little space I left. Very, very small and then she has our bunny it's flat at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to start stuffing it so i'm going to get stuffing and i'm going to just use my finger i'm going to put the stuffing in there so just put the stuffing on top of that hole and then just push it through with your finger feed it in there and if your fingers are too small or they're too big to go in the hole you can always just use a uh, knitting needle and you can just push it in with a knitting needle as well or a pencil or something with a flat end. And you can be a bit vigorous with this, like you are allowed to, like you can tug and pull your bunny, it's not going to come apart. So we're going to just keep stuffing it until you have enough stuffing where it's the size that you want it to be. So it can be as stuffed or as unstuffed as you want it to be. So we're going to keep stuffing it and move the stuffing around so it's all over the bunny. So you can see this is quite a small little bunny so I'm going to get a bit more stuffing and I want to just put it at the end over there. I'm going to keep almost done. I think this will be enough stuffing. There we go. There's our little bunny and he's stuffed. And you just like move his little ears up. Position how you want it to be if you like the way it is. I quite like how this bunny looks. Then we're gonna get the our needle with our thread still and we're gonna close this hole. So we're gonna just keep closing it the way we did previously.
So now we've closed the whole app. What we want to do is now we want to tie it shut so it doesn't open up. So you're going to grab a loop. You're going to pull through not all the way and then you're going to double back into this loop. I'll do it again. You're going to grab the loop. So there, this loop that the needle creates, we want to go through that. Once you've gone through the wall, so you can see I'm going through, through here, we're going to go through that loop and just pull. And then there we have it. Now it's nice and closed. And then just stick your needle in, come out anywhere in the body so we can thread in. Tag this a bit. Snip off the end. So we can either leave our little bunny the way it is, or we can put a nose in. So I'm going to put a little black nose on him. And how we do that is we're going to look at the face, get to the center of the face, and we want to create like a small little V where the nose is. So I'm going now for the nose, you're going to get the center of the face. You're going to stick your needle in diagonally to one side because we're going to create the, the line for a V. You're going to go into that and don't pull all the way through. We need to thread over here. So just hold the thread. Then go back into where you came from. So from where you started, so you can see this is where I went in, this is where it came out. Go back to where it went in. So then you see this is where we went in, this is where we came out. Go back to where you came in, go diagonally to the other side now. Pull through. So there's one little V. Then we're gonna go into the head. We're gonna push all the way through the head to where the ears are. You can see I'm coming out from where the ears are. Take that through drop that stitch, then we have this one left in the front. Okay. Tie on. We're going to go in the nose. We're going to go in the nose, push your needle all the way back to where the opening of the head is, where the other black thread is, and just pull through. And then there's our little nose. Nice little V triangle shaped nose. And then we don't want to lose this thread. So we're going to take this thread, just give it a little tie so it doesn't come undone. Because it's all going to be in the head, so we're not going to see it. Give it a little tie so the head keeps its shape. And then we're going to just thread this into the bottom. So we're going to take it, go into that hole in the head and just put it in and thread down into the body. And then pull it out from the bottom and you do the same thing with the other one. If it's too short you can just poke it into the head. You're not going to see it. Then now with this thread that we have left from the nose just pull it a little bit cut it off. It goes into the body. And then there's our bunny. It has two little ears, a little nose, and a little stomach. So here's our little bunny. The front with the little nose, little ears. He doesn't have a tail yet, but we're going to create that tail, the pom-pom. I'm going to create that tail in another video on tips and tricks with sewing and crocheting. So we're going to create a pom-pom like this. So please keep an eye out for that video and then I'll show you in that video how to attach it to our bunny. What do you think? Do you think the bunny's tail should be plain blue? Or should it be blue and black? Or should it be plain black? Please leave in the comments your suggestions of what colour my bunny's tail should be. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with people who would be interested and remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy knitting and crocheting. Bye. Bye.